Now we have an opportunity to analyze the signal and have an, uh, have an idea of what it's doing and how it's shaped. If we don't have an idea of what good is, how are we going to be able to analyze bad? What do we have here? Well, we see your typical current waveform from a solenoid. The most unique characteristic is the initial ramp that comes up. That ramp is caused by the inductance of the coil. Coils resist changes in current flow. And what happens here is that actually it absorbs the current as it's being let through the circuit and it turns it into a magnetic field. So this ramp indicates the building up of the magnetic field. Well, you can think about this. This is kind of similar to the way a uh, flywheel uh, resists the changes of engine RPM. The heavier the flywheel, the slower it takes the engine to rev up. It stores it as kinetic energy. Well, same thing's happening here. So we have the ramp that indicates the magnetic field building up and the inductance of the coil. And then we have a flat top. Well, that indicates either, depending on the circuit, a current control section that is maintaining a specific current level, or in this case, it just finally saturated the coil, and that is the steady current flow based on the voltages and the resistances of the circuit. And then, when the circuit is opened and the injector closes, we see the drop that indicates the turning off of the circuit. So that gives us an idea of the overall dynamics of the signal. So what defines good and bad? Well, looking at this good one, what defines good and bad is the ramp. The ramp gives us an overall indication of the integrity of the circuit. You see, the ramp is controlled by the integrity of the coil, the res overall resistance in the circuit, and the voltage that is being supplied to the circuit. So what you expect would happen is if the coil started to short. If the coil started to short, the current in the circuit would build up quicker. So we would see the ramp get steeper. As a matter of fact, here's a waveform where the ramp immediately steps up before it ramps over. Here we have an injector that's clearly shorting. Now the other things that could cause it to ramp up is as if the volt overall voltage to the circuit went up. That could cause the current to build up quicker.